That's a guy that was out here today. We are in NBA. Uh, let's try to voice chat real quick. Alright, I got to make this crazy. I'm not going to say a lot. It's NBA. So let's get started, man. Alright, so I'm going to And that's the balls. Dang it, man. The Warriors have gone 4 of 8 and looking in control. Here's Jerome, defended by Jones. Outside, DiVincenzo. I got the people on lock. Golden State needs to get off a shot. Here's Jerome. And again, no good by Golden State. Memphis has gone four for four so far from three-point land. Impressive. And stolen by Green. By himself. Throw it down on the breakaway jam. And that's all the result of some good defensive awareness. Outside Jones. Pass to Aldama. Three-pointer. Jones misses. The Warriors have gotten 50% of their shots to fall so far. They're 5 of 10. Payton passes to Kaminga. Over Jones. And a foul call. On the that was not no foul. So he'll take two from the free throw line. It goes on, Tyus jump. And coach doesn't like the call at all. He's opting to use his challenge. He wants the officials to look at the replay. People were worried that this would slow the action down. But with so many close calls in every game, the NBA was... The previous play is under review. One thing this does for a coach is let his players know he's got their back. If they're adamant that the call was wrong, he'll back them up and make the refs take another look. The ruling on the floor stands. Oh my God, they just picked the favorites. They made their decision. The call will stand. And as much as it hurts to lose a challenge, I think Coach would challenge that call again if he could. He really disagreed with the foul, and he's still peed. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Tillman's checked in for Aldama. Dylan Brooks comes in for Kennard. And it's Ja Morant in for Jones. The first free throw is good. And Grant, so much young talent for the Warriors. Many said they should trade for veterans, but they resisted. And they won a title anyways. I mean, with the salary cap perhaps their greatest obstacle, having contributors on cost-controlled rookie contracts sure helps. That misses, so he splits the free throws. And with the Memphis Grizzlies spitting, they felt like an underdog for as long as they've been around. This seems to fuel each and every guy that plays here. B.A., they want to prove the doubters wrong. There's something that has really brought this group together. And the shot goes in. The big story thus far, how well they've shot the rock. Golden State has gone one for five from three-point range. A cold start. Green with a screen on Moran. Here's Jerome, pounded by Moran. Just two seconds between the shot clock and the game clock. And the layup is good off the glass. Moran's got 14. They have laid on him all uh, the time. I'm going to have some good fundamentals. Kuminga against Jackson. Pass to Jerome. Jacks up a three. The shot won't fall. And so it's the Memphis Grizzlies ending the quarter up 10. Their key to cons... And so far through one quarter, it's been a lopsided game. We'll see if that changes here in the second. What stands out to you from the Grizzlies in this one? I'll tell you what, judging from that first period, you have to love what they're doing offensively. Crushing it, absolutely crushing it. Shooting lights out, building a big lead here early on. On the floor for the Warriors. Green and Looney together inside. 
Thompson the two with Wiggins at the three. And it's Poole in at the point. On target from range. Poole's got his first bucket of the game, and he's on the board for three. What a job Wiggins has done with his passing skills. Significantly improved over the years. Poole against Moran. And he sinks it again. Seven of seven from the field now. With the ball on the string, John Morant is toying with the defense. Beautiful. And there's a whistle. That's going to go on Brandon Clark. That's his first foul. Aldama's checked in for Memphis. Jones comes in for Morant. Santi Aldama. Jones. Cool against Jones. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. And the postseason is always something to look forward to in the NBA. Grant, as a player, when you're in there, how different is playoff basketball from the regular season? Well, first of all, B.A., it's the best time of the year. Playoff basketball, the intensity raises to another level. Both teams making adjustments within the series. You have to know your counters. Really, at the end of the day, it's who wants it more and who can execute on both ends of the floor with the most consistency throughout the series. The shot's good. Looney's got six. Terrific work inside from Looney. He continues to get more comfortable down there. Pass to Jones. Got it. Good job in the low post. And the Grizzlies lead by seven. He's got a big speed advantage in that matchup. Could be a blow by every single time. Clark against Looney. Cool from long range. Aldama grabs a board. They keep calling his number, which is partly how they've dug this hole. Back to Jones. Stolen by Wiggins. In transition, here come the Dude, Warriors. Oh, a nice one-handed slam right there. If they keep finding steals like that, they won't be in the hole much longer. Pass to Aldama. Back to Jones. To the paint. And stolen by Green. Thompson left side. Over Jones. They grab their own miss. The kick out to Wiggins. Beyond the arc. It doesn't go for him. Memphis has gone four or five from outside the arc in this one. And it's Brooks missing. Golden State has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Dylan Brooks has had one heck of a start to his career. He's a solid rotational player. Pass to Wiggins. Clock at six. Over Clark. And the shot's good by Wiggins. He's got five. He's so effective from the mid-range. When Wiggins senses an opportunity to score from there, he doesn't hesitate at all. As for Dylan Brooks, he's the glue that holds these guys together, Smitty. No doubt, B.A., he's their emotional leader on this team. He can take over games at times offensively. He is really the heartbeat of this club. Out to Thompson. The three ball. That shot is off. And just terrible defense. I don't know how he missed that shot. Inside. Back to Jones. Brooks outside. To the inside. And it goes. As the official calls the foul. Count it. And he'll shoot one more at the line. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Tillman's checked in for Clark. Conchar comes in for Brooks. And Williams is subbed in for Kennard. At the line for Memphis. Tyus Jones. I mean, during his first playoffs, Dylan Brooks proved he was a big game player, pouring in 31 in his playoff debut, an upset win over Utah. DiVincenzo, pass to Kaminga. Jones comes with a double team. For three, DiVincenzo. The shot, no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. They're coming off that loss against Philadelphia. Yeah, they know they should have played better in that one. I'm not quite sure what happened. You know, sometimes you don't play up to your full potential. The important thing to figure out is what went wrong. You know, talking about Dylan Brooks, also great in those first ever play-in games, Greg. Yeah, B.A., I mean, the Grizzlies making the playoffs, winning two games. Brooks was outstanding in a win at Golden State, locking down the Warriors on the perimeter. 
and they just continue to dominate the boards. Basket counts. Jones has got seven. Like a matador. Ole! There was no defense. That has to be one of the easier shots I've seen tonight. And this is what happens when you start to break your opponent's spirit. The resistance is no longer there. Here's the Grizzlies with the ball. They've gone on an 8-0 run. Down low. He connects. And now he's 4 for 6 in today's game. For absolutely no rim protection, leading to a lot of easy buckets. Time called here. The Warriors decide to talk it over. A tough loss coming against the Lakers in their last game play. They failed to create enough good looks. The ball movement just wasn't quite where it needed to be. You know, they take one step forward, two steps back, and exercise in frustration. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Morant checked in. Just take a little bit of stuff up, you know what I'm saying? And so it looks like the Warriors will retain possession here. And that one's good. And Green with the assist. Five points in the game. And once more this half, they find a way to get great position inside. Here's Moran. And the rebound goes to the Warriors. Easy chance from mid-range. Wouldn't be surprised to see them run that play again. Green for three. Green's the triple. Over his career, Jermichael Green has steadily worked on the perimeter jump shot. You have to respect his range from the outside. Moran against Payton. Shot's good by Moran. Moran's got 18 points in the game. Yeah, their defense is starting to wear down. That's three straight buckets at the rim. Morant with the rim. Jones. Here's DiVincenzo. Outside Peyton. Outside for Lamb. Puts up a three. Aldama grabs the board. They really have a commanding lead, not just in points, but in rebounds as well. Here's Morant. That one off the back iron and out. And that'll do it for the first half of play. It's the Grizzlies, up 10. Well, now a minute to check in with Allie LaForce. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Appreciate it, Allie. And we'll be coming right back after this break, ready for the third quarter. Greetings, everybody. We love exciting, and this game is delivered as we've seen two top players battling mano a mano. Shaq, did you enjoy testing your star power against other greats in the league? Yeah, but no one can outshine me on the court because they were stars, but I'm a whole. Now, looking at the first half of play in our feed. Thanks for tuning in. Now we head back to Brian Anderson for the start of the third quarter. You've enjoyed the broadcast thus far. We're halfway through the game. Oh, a fantastic game from Ja Moran in this one. The numbers say it all. He spent the first half playing efficient ball. And it's not like everything's been at the rim. There's been a number of jump shots along the way. Bain and Brooks out on the wing. Xavier Tillman is out there with Jaron Jackson. And it's Morant in at point guard. That's the lineup in the game for Memphis. 
to Brooks. Pass to Moran. Shoots over Thompson. Warriors with the rebound. They'll be playing host to Houston for their next game. It'll be the first of five games in a row at home. Here's the floater. And that's out of bounds. Golden State will retain possession. Golden State's ball. Moran against Poole. Second chance shot. Starting the half with three straight misses. Now how they envisioned this one. A unique talent. Oh, something else. Wow. Elite ball handler who can. from every spot on the floor. Morant lighting them up tonight. Pool. The shot no good. Now Memphis takes it the other way. <laughs> I'll tell you what, they've rebounded the ball tremendously well. Boy, he overdid it there. Too much force on the foul, and he's called for the flagrant one. Uh, you know, it's just hard to watch a player put the one being of an opponent at risk. He rightfully earned that flagrant. Yeah, the officials are all over that one, sending a clear message that that kind of roughness is unacceptable. In the 2021-22 season, we saw John Morant go from a star to a bona fide superstar, <laughs> averaging over 27 points, six assists, and five rebounds. Well, it was only a matter of time before they finally get the bucket. They just look so overwhelmed inside. Well, that's why they continue to get attacked. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Pass to Wiggins. Six on the shot clock. It's good from the top of the key. Wiggins got his third basket of the night. Well, Smitty with Morant. His ascension into superstardom was quicker than expected. B.A., before he tweaks his knee, he was in the top five for the MVP race, putting himself among the league's elite at the age of 22. And with his passion, he's only going to get better. Clark has checked in for Memphis. Here's Morant. And the officials whistle a foul on the shot. The bucket is good, and he'll go to the line. Three out of four coming out of the half, showing good execution on the offensive end. And who they messing with? They ain't messing with me. Yeah, John Paul, me. The free throw drops for Moran. As young as John Moran is, I'm impressed. He came in ready to lead a team. And these guys, they follow him. Looney passes to Poole. This one for three. The Grizzlies pull it in. Jackson's got rebound number seven tonight. And right now, they're plus eight in the rebounding category. That's helping them run away with I'm telling you, it had to be Collins right there. Locked in this quarter, shouldering the load at the offensive end. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. You're toasting the defense and getting in close. They'll take possessions like that one all day. Out to Thompson. The three. Nails it from three. Trust Clay Thompson uh, every dang. time with the catch and shoot. He gets so well positioned and balanced to score. Right side Moran. Wing shot on the way. Warriors with the rebound. Of course there's a wing shot on the wing. The looks this team is trying to create. You know, if you get the ball to the right guy in the right spot, more often than not, you're coming away with points. Hasn't been able to dial it in from distance. He has just the one three, and that was in the first half. Yep, count it. Just so successful getting the ball inside and finding those great looks. The Warriors have gotten just 25% of their shots to fall since the half. Two for eight. Now a timeout called by Golden State.
Williams has checked in for Brooks. Here's a great chance to look at the teams putting up the most points. These are the real stats, real scores from the real NBA. Second, the Warriors. They've been having a great season on the offensive end of the floor. It never takes this team long to put big points up on the board. Left side, Green. And watching Draymond Green play. Grant, he's the quarterback on both ends. I love that, B.A. Defensively, constantly calling out instructions on how to switch, keeping everyone organized. And offensively, Green is an incredible passer. Sees guys get open before they do. For this team, Draymond's a true necessity. Does all the little things. Everyone understands how important he is on both ends. Here's Moran. Finds the bottom from 13 feet out. Moran's got 15 points here in the second half. He's given a great lift to this offense tonight. Very, very efficient. Green finds Wiggins. Outside, DiVincenzo. Here's Jerome. And a miss there on the triple. The defense got lucky there. That's one you expect him to drain. Back to Moran. Here's Williams. The rebound by Wiggins. I'm not sure how he's going to explain that shot later. Low percentage chance. If it's not there, give up the rock. Trust your teammates. Sky high. One of his advantages as an undersized four. Here's Moran. And he drops in the layup off the glass. Moran's got 35. And their offensive game plan is clear. Get it inside and go to work. Pass to Green. Back to Jerome. Kuminga against Jackson. Here's Jerome. There's the three. That one doesn't drop. He is just so deadly from out there. You expect that to fall. And it's Morant missing. Golden State has gone just one of six from long distance here in the third. The shots just aren't falling. For three, DiVincenzo. And the Warriors get it back. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Blocked by Jackson Jr. He has that potential at this level. And what a phenomenal replay of that impressive rejection. Oh, amazing indeed. And getting stops like that only encourages them to keep attacking on the offensive end. And the Grizzlies with some changes. Aldama's checked in for Clark. And it's Jones in for Desmond Bain. Green's checked in for the Warriors. Payton comes in for Wiggins. Pass to DiVincenzo. Shot clock at six. Green with a screen on Moran. Here's Payton. No good with the triple. For Memphis, they've gotten seven of their first 11 attempts to go in this half. Moran, the pass to Williams. Back to Moran. Uses the glass to finish the layup. Moran's got 37. It breaks down your defense when John Moran gets in the lane. You want to force him outside. And the call will be against Jaron Jackson. That's foul number two for him. And the Grizzlies making a change here. Kennard's checked in. And Golden State also making a switch. Lamb's checked in. Here's Peyton. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Back to DiVincenzo. Outside for Lamb. There's the triple. A rebound by Jackson. Jackson's got rebound number eight now. Here's Williams. That one no good. Bruh, he literally just ran me over. That's a foul. Here's Kuminga. Oh, it's blocked by Jackson. Ja Moran, he's feeling it tonight and has been the driving force for the Grizzlies. He was dominant this quarter, scoring in bunches. And don't go far. We'll be right back.
it's time to bring up the State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> yeah, just shredding the defense with that feed. Zero chance to stop that. Creating plays for others. It's an art form, but it's also a discipline. Fantastic job. And with the fourth quarter upon us, time is running out for this game to become competitive. And here are the Grizzlies right, now. Next up on the schedule, the Nuggets, a home game. And that'll put them halfway through a three-game home stand. On the court for Golden State to start the fourth. But this was an easy win for the Memphis Grizzlies. And it's Peyton in at the small forward position. Yeah, I'm going to show you what skill level I have them on. Alright, now for the rest of the game, it's gonna be on. Just learn the why. For the rest of the game, it's gonna be on Hall of Fame. Let's see how much better they do. Well, Grant, this is the business you and I are in. NBA has a couple of years with existing TV partners. How much are we gonna see things change? Dude, what is it? Keep on passing NBA, my arm. This is interesting as this continues to evolve. I think. As people's viewing habits have changed in the last 10 to 15 years, I think live sports and the NBA game is still something fans love to see in real time. I think also the fact that we can also attract a larger audience is exciting. I don't know how it'll all play out, but I know it'll be fun to follow and watch as we go. When you play with some of the best scorers in the history of the game, you learn to facilitate terrific pads by Clay Thompson. Back to Tillman. Damn it! One of the cases where Hype fails to tell you the whole story. Ooh, a great look there. Brought to you by the at and 5G Slam Cam. Pass to Looney. Hey, in six attempts, he's made five. Talk about efficiency. Efficient performance from him. Not the case for everyone else on his team. Wiggins with a steal. Man, dear. Transition. Hey, no transition. Dang, I did not say that to do. I was just worried about one dude at the time. Skied up for slams like that one. Pass to Bain. Brooks from outside. Warriors with the rebound. Green's got five rebounds in the game. To the middle. Wiggins for three. And that one falls. His fifth basket in seven tries. Their ball movement on this run has been tremendous. It's led to a lot of good, clean, open looks. Pain, no good. And here are the Warriors now. They're on an 11-2 run. Oh, and Jackson with the block. Inside, here's Brooks. And he's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. I was a lot of contact, actually. Just a real solid all-around player. Brooks that time drawing the Bucket. Block. He's already a skilled defender. And Bucket with my eyes closed. He stepped up his game. He causes nightmares for shooters now. Yeah. So, Smitty, what do you attribute Jackson Jr.'s defensive growth to? You know, B.A., I think a lot of it is his focus. He's keeping his eye on the shooters. But it's also yeah. just confidence. He's more sure of himself than ever. Mm -hmm. A player who's aware oh, of no. everything around wow. him. Brooks sees the man break open and hits him. Poole, the pass to Looney. Now Thompson. Goes up at the elbow. And there's Wiggins. That's good. On the assist by Thompson. Fourth quarter keeps moving along. Three minutes gone by now. Brooks from outside. He's off on that one. And it's the Warriors taking it the other way. Cool finds green. And the Dude, that was not a foul. He missed the that right now. He's got a couple of free throws coming his way. That was not no foul. Dude, look. That was that was a foul, literally. I literally did 
Yo, I thought that he had my, he ran into my hand. And, oh my gosh. <laughs> and he was not a foul. All right, now a timeout called by Memphis. Oh my gosh. Moran, he's checked in for Memphis. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. Hey guys, I had a chance to find out what Taylor Jenkins was discussing with his players. He told his squad to pour on the gas, saying, quote, we hold the lead. Let's keep growing it. Be aggressive. <laughs> this is no time to let up. Great work, Allie. Thanks. Good. Green and the play in tournament has been a success, but some debate about whether the stats should count towards postseason stats. Granted, kind of falls in the abyss. How do you think we should reconcile? Well, BA, first of all, it is the postseason. It's exciting. Everyone's watching. So much is on the line. This is high pressure elimination games. And yes, there have been some great performances that we've seen in the play in tournament thus far. So I think these stats should be included in postseason numbers for players. Moran. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. Why are all the me? True decision on the shot by Moran. Goes into the defender to make sure he gets fouled. And they've been so much more aggressive drawing the whistle here in the second half. And good on the second, so he makes them both. It's interesting. No free throw attempts for him in the first half. He's finally pushing the action and reaping the reward. Here's Thompson. Can't hit that one. Oh, and Jackson with the defensive effort for Memphis. They've gone two of five from the field in this final quarter. Back to Moran. The three is up. Looney grabs a miss. Looney's got rebound number eight here already in the game. It's Wiggins on the wing. Had a chance there to cut it to single digits, but it's off target. Right side, Moran. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. You love to see that kind of elevation from your point guard. John Moran's a reliable finisher. Pool left side. Takes a three. Rebound by Jackson. You know, we talk a lot about scoring efficiency. He's displaying the exact opposite. Back to Moran. There's the drive. Oh, there's Moran with the slam. Now you see him, now you don't. There's only a few players that are faster with the ball than Damn. John Moran. Golden State is gone one for three in the fourth quarter from range. Just dropped him. I won't try Jocelyn. From outside the arc. Look it. And it's Bain with the rebound. Oh, the worst, so. Bain's got four rebounds now. Eagles? They came out oh. and had a oh, now y'all left with the wide. Oh, really? I think it was their play in the paint that got them the win tonight. And the defense seemed to stop them down low. So they lost the ball for them. high percentage shots for them. And this will put them at 36 wins on the year. And as it was happening, as it was building, you I'm knew this was a monster game for John oh. Moran. I oh. did a good job of filling out the defense early on. Then once oh. he found his oh. goal, he stayed aggressive throughout. A big All right. I want to score a quarter over. I should score a quarter over. Conchar comes in for Brooks. Canard, he's checked in for me. Make sure to like and subscribe and tell us today. Notifications. Misses right, the three. We got that two. It's get. over. It's Guy, over. Right spot. Wrong result. And here's Clark for three. No luck on that one. The Warriors shooting right around 40% since the beginning of the fourth quarter. <clears throat> Pass to Jerome. Fires the three. Unable to get that one. Memphis with the ball. Here's Conchar. Lamb covering from about 16. Huh? What is that, Mom? Alright. Ooh, the Grizzlies with another miss. Now eight seconds separating the two clocks. Top of the key jumper, no good. Man, coach is going to have a few words with him after that shot. And you know what? He knows it. 
you have to try to play within the system or you're going to come away with empty possessions. Outside, Williams. From 13. 